What an incredible introduction. And it is now time for the first speaker of the evening. Please welcome to the stage, to the podium, the governor of the state of Oregon, Kate Brown. Hey everybody, how are you doing tonight? Thanks for coming out to celebrate your 2022 league champions, the Portland Thorns. Okay, we had a million viewers, the most ever, on your way to this third record title. You showed the nation exactly what Portland soccer is all about. Way to go! And are there a few Rose City Riveters in the crowd tonight? I could hardly hear you. Much better. The entire state of Oregon is so proud of what this team has accomplished. From the youngest MVP in league history, Sophia Smith. What about your team captain, Christine Sinclair? And how about that amazing coach, Rianne Wilkinson? Okay, I'd love to go through every player, but I don't have time, so let's just give them all a round of applause. What about that amazing last second goal by Crystal Dunn that put you into the final? five months ago. Well, uh, there is a reason why uh, this team has so many fans in Oregon and around the world. I understand that this is the biggest fan base for a women's sports team in the entire world. And that's because of you all. Amazing players, right? They're also very brave and courageous, right? These women have championed equity. And now, all of us, we need to keep fighting to make sure that every woman soccer player in this country, at every level of the game, is safe, no matter where they play. With you. This is the Rose City, and we will always have their back, right? <laughs> Congratulations, one more time, 2022 League Champions! Thank you, Governor Brown. And now, the Thorns general manager, her pink coat, her signature pink coat, Karina LeBlanc, one season as a general manager and one trophy. Karina, congratulations. Okay, go ahead. The handheld? Move around and talk? in the best city. I'm speaking for every single player here and saying we love you! <laughs> Couple shout outs, I gotta give a shout out to, you guys will agree, 
the best coaching staff, not only in this country, but in the world. Let's give a shout out to our coaching staff. Let's give a shout out to our high performance staff. Let's give a shout out to the soccer operations staff. I gotta give a shout out to our front office from ticketing to content and marketing. That's how you guys saw our journey. So to the whole front office, let's give them a shout out. And then obviously, we're here to celebrate the players tonight. The players will talk about it today, but we wouldn't be here without you. I had the honor of winning it in 2013, but this one was a little bit sweeter, let me tell you that much. It's because of you. I mean, last two weekends ago, when was it that we had the semifinal game? I don't know, last weekend? This place was electric. It was a dream come true. It was because of the phenomenal play, but it was because of you. So thank you. And what can I say about these incredible women? This team is connected. They faced a lot of adversity, but they've used it to make them stronger. And I just have to say, I got a little girl up there, her name is Paris, and each single one of these women inspire her, and I know that they inspire you. So one round of applause for our amazing team. And just because I like, let's do PTFC three times. PT! 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 Woo! One more time for Karina LeBlanc. <laughs> Senator Merkley, you've given a lot of speeches in your time. I don't know how many times you've had to follow up somebody like Karina LeBlanc. Good luck, Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley. Hey, everybody. Y'all happy to be here in Soccer City, USA? All here to welcome home this incredible set of women doing us proud. Three championships in 10 years, never going to be matched. They're going to get another one next year. Saturday night, 17,000 fans packed into Audi Stadium in D.C. And one end of the field, we got the Thorns, and then we're lining up, and we've got the Kansas City current. But we know how that's going to come out because we have the most incredible set of women and set of coaches ever in the history of women's soccer. Leading the offense, Sophie Smith, MVP, congratulations. <laughs> Leading the defense, Becky and Megan, wherever they are, wave your hands. And, and let's just have a little extra appreciation for the team member born in Oregon, Bella, the goalkeeper. Took down Kansas City. It was just absolutely phenomenal. And behind it all, the, the woman who inspires, who directs, who, who designs strategies, it is Ray E. Wilkinson. Now, Rayanne was born in Montreal. She played 180 games with the Canadian national team. She won two, not one, but two Olympic bronze medals. And in her very first year coaching for the first time, she chose Portland, Oregon, and she led this team to victory. Congratulations, and let me introduce Rian Wilkinson. Come on up.
first up. Um, wow. It's, it's been a year. Wow. Um, getting to be here to represent you guys, the best fans in the world, is such a privilege. Thank you. Um, I was asked the key to success this year, and it was honestly to stay out of the way of this incredible group of women and players. They are fantastic, so a huge thank you to these players here. Karina already did this, but I think it's really important. I had the privilege of inheriting and bringing on board some of the best people and the best staff in this league, but also in sport. I was so very fortunate. In our soccer operations, Jordis, Lizzie, Carly, Magda, these are women who work unbelievable hours to make things happen for us. Can you stand? This is our soccer operations. and high performance team, I bet there's no other coach in the league that at the final game had 27 players available with no injuries. Yeah. Eric, Pierre, Tom, Kelly, Dr. Brown, Becca, Tony. Amazing. And my technical staff have some of the thickest accents you'll ever hear. No one knows what they're talking about. Soph couldn't be here, but Sophie Clough, Nadine Onger, our German legend, Vitas, Mike Norris. this year so incredibly special. It was a moment I'll never forget tonight, but this season was incredible. Thank you so much. One more time for Thorns head coach Rian Wilkinson. Now please welcome to the stage the other senator from our state of Oregon, Ron Wyden. is it to live in Soccer City, USA? I can't hear you! When I was at the sports bra Saturday, to watch the Thorns go marching in to another championship, I knew we were headed for an awesome victory party. Portland is now at the epicenter of women's soccer. Portland is at the epicenter of women's sports. We're going to talk another time about getting a WNBA team, but we'll get it. Tonight, though, I have a really terrific job, and it's a tremendous honor. And that is, I'm introducing a legend. A legend who began A legend, a legend who began her career right here in Portland. She holds the record for most playoff appearances in the league. 
and get this. Christine Sinclair is the world's all-time leader for international goals for men or women. Friends, she is amazing. She is inimitable. Bring up Christine Sinclair for the champ. my worst nightmare, so I've been promised a shot if I say, welcome Santa. <laughs> um, honestly, on behalf of the players, uh, they've all come up and gotten their applause, but just a massive thank you to our staff. Our coaching staff, everyone behind the scenes, the front office, Karina, incredible. Uh, can we give them one more round of applause? What? What? Hi. And then honestly, I've had the honor of calling Providence Park home for 10 years. And and I wouldn't change a minute of it. You guys have been the most amazing fans since day one. You've supported us through thick and thin. And this year, you really showed up when we needed you most. And we, on behalf of the players, thank you. I've been, uh, I've been told I'm not allowed to swear, so. Um, all right, all right, um, so I'm announcing it here. I'll be back next year. <laughs> yeah. Okay, enough, enough. Um, to win a fourth one of those and and fuck Seattle. Local news station said their dump buttons ready. Well done. Wouldn't be one of these without one of those. One more time for Christine Sinclair. One more year for Christine Sinclair coming back next year in Portland. Next up to speak, a player who had an incredible season. The youngest MVP in NWSL history. The youngest goal scorer in NWSL championship history. The MVP of the championship game, Sophia Smith. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very nervous. Um, and I, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to top sync because I feel like she said everything that I wanna say, but. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Um, honestly, I just want to say we wouldn't be here with this trophy without you guys. Um, you've supported us this whole season through ups and downs, and we just really appreciate that. 
Uh, we love you guys, and we hope to see all your beautiful faces next season, and hopefully all of you guys like times 10. Um, yeah, honestly, I've already said it a lot of times and my team is annoyed by it, but I love my team. <laughs> And yeah, we just stuck together throughout this whole year, through everything, and I think that shows a lot about this club and, and just like what we can do and what's possible. So thank you guys for supporting us and we love you all. Yes, Give it up one more time for Sophia Smith. So you all probably know, but before games, the Thorns have a huddle out on the field, and, and there's a particular player that likes to give some speeches there. And now she's gonna give one of those here. She's getting ready. Megan Klingenberg. We got the MVP of the international goal scoring record. <laughs> then we got the MVP of the league, and then they've got the girl that does the huddles. Let's go! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, but actually. Fuck yeah, love you too. All right, I was told to be my authentic self, so here we go. Uh, listen, we're all in this journey. Um, us as a team, as an organization, but also as a community. And this journey, um, this year has uh, meant a lot to all of us. And um, one of the things that this team has really focused on every time they step the field, step on the field together is focusing on joy. But you can't have joy without gratitude. They're completely intertwined. So uh, this is us paying tribute back to all of you, our community, and letting you know how much we truly care that you show up every fucking game And uh, we truly care that you lose your voices from screaming so loud. And we fucking love it that your arms cramp when you're waving the flags. And it's truly the fucking best when you have to call a lift home because you're too drunk to get back on your own. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It has been an amazing season. It's very special. This is a special group. We're going to keep it together. And last thing, um, I need the front office to note how well we played when we chartered, baby. Let's go!
So, so we've reached the point where we finished with our scheduled speakers. Uh, scheduled speakers. Now this is the third one of these. We, we've learned a little bit. It kind of comes to like open mic night at this point. So we're gonna throw it out there. If there's anybody on this stage that wants to take the mic, that has anything to say, or anybody that you all want to hear from, let it be known. Becky? Honestly, um, you know, thank you guys so much. One, for showing up, I mean, to be a part of another celebratory event. We cannot get enough of celebrating, so we may have to do it again tomorrow. I mean, I don't know, you know? I don't know, I don't know. But honestly, um, you all know, obviously, my personal journey, just coming back and throughout this year, and I have incredible teammates and, and everyone who supported me on my journey, but what a year this has been. Um, and for you guys to show up for us, even in our darkest moments, I think speaks to this community, speaks to you all, and we are so appreciative of every single one of you guys. So we are not resting on our laurels. We're gonna celebrate this moment here, but we're ready to get a fourth, you know? So yeah, why not, right? Um, but thank you guys so much. We will see you again next year right here. <laughs> Before I start, this is from Marissa, go Cougs. Um, in all seriousness, we love you guys and we're so thankful for you and we couldn't have done it without you guys. And as William Erickson once said, I'm here so I don't get fined and here's Kelly Hubley. Turn up, turn up! You guys want a speech from Kelly Hubley, correct, after that? Yes! As my teammates say, I was built different. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. It's been like an unreal year, like a perfect, like a perfect year someone could ask for. Like we've had our ups and downs, but I don't know, we just have always stuck together and we're a close-knit team and it's something really rare. No. No. This is from my jacket. I broke it on the stairs and all the feathers are from the jacket. <laughs> um, but like, I love this team and it's like sad for the season to end, but we have next year, so we're all excited for next year. Nadine, Nadine, Nadine. Come on, Nadine. Come on, Nadine. Come on, Nadine. Thank you guys. Um, one of my um, best friendship on this journey since 2019 has been with Nadine and uh, it's been four years of working at this and it's right here for you. Um, being around this league, it's been like tough seeing the growth and everything and um, 
getting dressed and the anxiety of games every week coming here and the chills and the goosebumps on the arms, hearing the national anthem and the scars flowing and the energy of Providence Park. It's been a dream to come here and I can't believe we just freaking did that. And yeah. Justin Bieber, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, um, thank you for being here all the time and what uh, yeah, other players already said before, in the brightest and in the darkest moments, other teams fall apart, but not the Portland Sons. This fucking team is unbelievable. Yeah. They, the whole team earns this trophy so much and uh, I'm very proud of every single one of you. Love you all. Well, I definitely didn't think I would be up here tonight, but uh, we all lo love you guys so much and we wouldn't be here without you like everyone else said. And yeah, uh, Rocky Rodriguez. All right, so my heart is racing real fast right now. I'm really nervous. Yeah. <laughs> but one more, one more! <laughs> but uh, something that I, I mean, everyone has said everything really, but something that I actually really want you guys to know is that it's because of you guys that dreams are made true. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but. <laughs> English is my second language, just, um, yeah. Uh, but being here in Portland ever since I came here has been like my dream come true ever since I was a kid. And my teammates are incredible, uh, but it's all because of you guys. You make the atmosphere and this is the best place to play professional soccer in the world. So thank you so, so much. We love you guys. Who next? Who next? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got you, I got you. So who do you guys want? Do you guys want a Hina? The Hina Hive? Yeah, we do! It is all, it is all, I'm all. Thank you for being here. And so, uh, I, love this I love this city! Yeah! All right. Yes. No, absolutely not. We have not. Jennifer Coolidge do it, do it, waiting to talk to you all. No, do it, please do it. No, 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 do it, no, do it. I don't, I don't like that this has become a thing, but I've been requested to do Jennifer, to do Jennifer Coolidge. And I tell you what, that makes you want to hurt your real bit. This is terrible, I hate this so much. This makes me want to hurt your hug real bad. <laughs> That's awful, I hate this so much. I love you all though, that's fine. Abby, anybody else? The dog? <laughs> I'm taking the dog, dumbass. <laughs> Jeff. 
and here is Samantha Coffey. No, 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 no. Um, Penn State, hey, my guy, yeah. Nittany Lions for life, baby. Um, yeah, I don't know how I got so lucky as to be here, part of this team, playing in front of you guys. I feel so blessed to be a thorn. This team is so special. I think it's unique to have a culture like we do and to have a team that genuinely loves each other. So I just feel so blessed. Um, I actually saw my brother after the game and I went up to him and the first thing he said to me was, only downhill from here. And I'm like, well, <laughs> it's kind of true. Um, <laughs> no, we have so many more championships and shields to win. I feel, again, just so blessed to be here. Alele Thorns. I, I think that's it. There's, there's one group of... I mean, all I can say is going to court was worth it to play here. Janine? No, I'm not good. Hook 'em horns. I've been told I have to represent the Beckys of the team. Um, she doesn't want to speak, so I'll speak for her. How about Becky Sauerbrunn? It's been an incredible first season. Um, couldn't have dreamed for a better first season than to win a championship, so I will echo what Sam says. Hopefully it's not all downhill from here because I expect many more of those over the next very many years. So thank you all. We have been referred to as Port Lanida, which is my personal favorite name for the club. Um, but no, this is a, it's a dream place to be. When I came back from England, there was not a single team I wanted to be at more than here. So thank you all so much for your support and go Thorns. to embarrass my little friend Will over there. Everybody wave. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for everything. Over the past two years, it's been very difficult. Over the past nine years, you have done so much for me personally. And 10 years for the league, you have brought the league to where it is today. So thank you. Two more things. <laughs> Buy Sinky's book. <laughs> and the last thing, Kelly is built normal. She is not built different. Anybody else? All right, um, there's one group of people I forgot to thank, and those are the sponsors. Because when it got difficult, some of them doubled down and they wanted to support these women. So I just want to thank the sponsors. Woo! And then, let's hear it for Jack! Uh, Karina, thank you for emceeing the open mic, open mic portion of this rally. Uh, we have one last thing to do. Uh, and we need some smoke coming out of that bucket, I think. <laughs> Tina, come on down. Uh, thank you all so much for coming tonight. What a season. What a night. Thank you to the best fans in the world. We will see you in the spring. But first...
Thanks again to Governor Kate Brown, Senators Jeff Merkley and Ron Wyden, the 2022 NWSL champion, Portland Thorns. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you for coming.